I only have the capacity for one of these videos today, a day because they are insane. But I'm going to be absolutely honest with you. I desperately want to act in one of not. I don't want to act in a Darman video. I want to act in a Samir Bavini video. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. I want to I want to I want to audition for that. I want to do this. All right. I I literally I just my, I'm having like a an attack right now. Okay. I, I make me play make me play something. Honestly, let's be honest. I'd probably be best to be played like a racist landlord or something. Let's be honest here, because I just look like it. You know, I I, I and it's so terrible. Because I but like you know I understand stereotypes and I know what I look like. And listen, bro, I could be I could be a good <laughs> bad guy. Probably the worst thing I'd ever do for my career. But I, but this guy's videos are insane. You just have to let me help you write an episode. That's all I want. Anyway, boyfriend discovers girlfriend was born a guy. BF discovers GF was born a guy. The ending will shock you. All right. Why does he look like he's like 40 in the face and then like 15 in the body and then she looks like she's like 18 years old? What a, okay, let's go. Come on, baby. You've been hesitating to tell me this big secret of yours for the past three hours. Okay, hold on. What is the April 1st come up? Okay, April 1st, 2021. Okay. You've been hesitating to tell me this big secret of yours for the past three hours. It's really, really, really big. Okay, I can't eat while I watch this, apparently. Because <laughs> it's really big? Bro, if it's that big, he should have been able to tell by now. Come on, how big could it be? Pat, I was born a guy. <laughs> okay, Alexandra. Very funny. Lame prank. April Fools, you got me. Was it April 1st? Was it 22 seconds in? Is that why they said April 1st? Oh, I see. That's why you thought it was April Fools. You're just trying to get back at me for that joke I told you about putting your cat in the oven. Oh my god, no. I didn't even realize it was April 1st. Seriously, it's not a prank. Come on, okay. You know, like, listen, I'm gonna make an, I'm gonna make an assumption here. I don't think that that's actually a trans actress, and I feel like this is one of those videos that would have been good to, like, employ a trans actress to play. I could be wrong. They might be incredibly passable. I can usually tell. Um, but, like, yeah. This guy's smile's creeping me out, though. Hey, so what? It's a lame joke. Can we go to lunch now? Pat, ignore it's April 1st. I'm dead serious. Cursed. I was born a guy named Alex. What's her name now? Wants to tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alex. I want to believe you, but you're telling me on April 1st. Is that the only parameter for you? I want to believe you, but come on. Today's magical joke today. Alexandra? Wait, the person's name is Alex. They changed to Alexandra. I feel like most trans people are like, let me actually choose a fun name. Alexandra. Bro, come on. And even if I did believe you, we've done everything already. You seem 100% woman to me. Yes. And that's the moral of the story. They are 100% woman. That's the whole punchline. There's no punchline. That's it. I am 100% woman, but my friends and folks have been on my case about telling you. I mean, you should honestly tell somebody that you're trans before you... Listen, I think that like I, the most appropriate time to me is before like physical interact, like a physical intimate interaction. You go on a date or two and you don't tell them they're trans. Maybe you want to figure, you know, maybe you're feeling it. I get it. You know, worst case scenario for the guy, he's not interested in trans women, and he's like, eh, a free meal for you. That's to be how dating works. Like, it is what it is. Um, But you should tell, because, like, you know what? A lot of people, whether it's right or wrong, and I think it's wrong, but perceive trans women and trans men as their biological sex, their sex, of, uh, their, their sex assigned at birth. I don't know what the, the, the term is supposed to be. Um, <clears throat> and so you do need to respect that. I do understand it can be, like, frustrating and, like, oh, my God, they might hurt me if I tell them I'm trans. The reality, though, whether we want to acknowledge or not, is most of the harm and the violence comes after somebody interacts physically with a trans person, and then they find out because then they start questioning their own sexuality. They find it disgusting, et cetera, et cetera. And it's so shitty that that their feeling in, is invalidating to a trans person instantaneously, and so terrible. But it's the reality of life, and so you're better off telling somebody beforehand or putting it in your bio. Um, you know, for other people, I would say that we should try to make steps towards it in creating an inclusive environments. Which is weird. How do we do that? How do we, how do we like, what do we do? Ask every girl, hey, are you trans? You know what I mean? I think it would be great if you asked everybody like, hey, are you trans? Just crossing it off the paper because it feels invalidating to a lot of people. 
which is interesting because that's transphobic. If you feel offended by somebody saying, are you trans? That is kind of transphobic. Who cares? Are you trans? I don't care. I remember raiding a stream one. Well, not raiding. I went to a stream one time and I just asked, are you trans? And they banned me. And it's like, bro, why? I, people ask me if I'm trans. I don't care. I thought I wouldn't care if I was trans, bro. Like, why? It's not diminishing. <laughs> you know? So, but anyway, let's go. It's really not that big of a deal. So I'm ready to go eat. Do you want to eat at Whole Foods or Walmart? Or a Vegas buffet? Whole Foods or Walmart? What do you mean do you want to eat at Whole Do I just live somewhere different? What am I going to eat at? Uh, you know what? There's a Subway in one of my Walmarts. But I'm confused. There is a McDonald's in one, too. But is that the same as Whole... Hey, Whole Foods, Walmart, or a fucking buffet? Is that what she said? I'm ready to go eat. Do you want to eat at Whole Foods or Walmart? Or a Vegas buffet? Hey, do you want to go to Petco and have a fucking meal, or would you like to go to Applebee's? What the fuck are we talking about here? What? What are you talking about? How every line is intentionally designed to get me to pause the video and melt down. I got the buffet purse that you got me. I'm so hungry. I could eat like a guy. Wait, what's a per... <sighs> Bro, I'm, I'm already caught on what the fuck is a buffet purse. And then she says I could eat like a guy. Ooh. Oh my god, dude. What am I supposed to say? I want to say, what does that mean? But we know it means eat a lot because guys usually eat more. But Jesus Christ, <laughs> I can't stop. Hey, hold on. Are, are you being serious or still joking? What do you mean? Like, so you're seriously a dude? I was never joking. I'm not some dude. I was born a guy, but now I'm 100% female. Alexandra, seriously. Are you know what's so interesting? And I know that you guys are melting down because I pause so much. Her saying that she's 100% of woman is actually kind of transphobic because she's saying it from the writing perspective. The writers thought that that was a validating term to use. But what she's saying, I'm assuming, is that, hey, I don't have my penis anymore. I'm fully passable, so I'm 100% a woman. And, like, that's actually invalidating to non-passable trans women. How fucking crazy is that? Big woke brain. Oh, dude, I really hit myself. <sighs> I don't know why I did that. Oh, I have a headache. Instant headache. Big woke brain. Not a very, very small brain now. Are, are you being serious with me right now? Yes, it's not a joke. I've seen women with big hands and feet before. They probably were born dudes. Wait, how can what you- What is happening here? What do you mean you've seen women with big hands and feet before? And they were probably born dudes. Like, listen, yes, your hand size doesn't change. It is an identifying factor for trans women. Sometimes. But what the hell? This guy is literally, like, exploding transphobia. This is insane. This is horrible. Oh, my God. Tell me this right now. What do you mean? You're some guy, but I'm not into guys. Pat, stop telling me that. I'm not a guy. I was just born a guy, and now I'm a female. And the proper word is transgender. Oh my God, are you serious? You lied to me. I didn't lie, you never asked. You could have told me when we met at the club. What was I supposed to say? Hey, I'm Alexandra, I was born a guy and now I'm a girl. At least before we made love. Yeah, Look, true. I was pretty drunk and you kind of forced yourself on me. Whoa, what is happening now? What? Is she threatening to falsely label him a, a rapist now? They're dating. And he's like, well, I was kind of drunk and you forced yourself on me. That seems like a threat. Oh, you don't want to date me because I'm trans? Well, you know what? You rape me now. That, this is crazy. I did no such thing. Sorry. I mean, I liked it rough and all, but you were pretty aggressive. Stop saying that. I need to think about this. Okay. I understand. So, does this mean you're breaking up with me? <laughs> what the fuck?
what? It says cold shower. I love how it says cold shower, but they literally put it to like medium shower. Like that's how deep this is. Like we we didn't want them to actually be cold, so we had them go in a regular temperature shower, and we we labeled it cold shower. This I this is insane. Oh yeah. Also, he drank bleach because he he was so disgusted with himself. At least he didn't hit her. Which of course is the bare minimum. I like girls. I like girls. I like girls. What the fuck? A video link from his friend Frank. I said, You're telling me you've met a girl, she's a nine hot, and she's like a two or a three crazy. I was, what? This video is insane, bro. This is meta reaction right here. They're, re, they're, they're, it, what? They're in a script for a show reacting to this insane video about attractiveness levels of women. While well, I react to it. He said, yeah, man, I like her a lot. I said, you should be careful. That's a dude. You're talking to a tranny. <laughs> Stupid Frank. Talking to a tranny. Yeah, man, I like her a lot. I said, you should be careful. That's a dude. Pretty crazy. He said, yeah, man, I like <laughs> I said, you should be careful. That's a dude. You're talking to a tranny. Come on, bro. <laughs> this is this is uh this is probably like the the worst. Thank you so much for the sub, I gotta pause those. Just resubscribed for two months. W. So I don't know how old this video is, and I understand that Samir is like edgy, but like we get to a point now where I don't know how old this video is. I don't know if you guys know, maybe you can tell me. But the reality is that you know that that's a slur. Like, the T-slur is a slur to invalidate trans people. And it feels very calculated for them to... That's from 2005, which the reality is is that 16 years ago, we were much more edgy. This feels very intentional to find an old video that says the T-slur in it just so that you can make a video about it and mention it to increase the edginess of your video while playing plausible uh, plausible deniability by saying it's not my video come on bro like all the other insane stuff is fun but that one was like too much come on like you know what you were doing it was very intentional that didn't like magic oops we oh I fuck. come on you, you you didn't need to like reinforce it you already had the guy drink bleach and you've already made the trans person in this to like say really weirdly transphobic things about themselves come on Play. <laughs> Stupid Frank. <sighs> also weird that they have a live TV thing down here. It looks like a sticker. Because it's not reflecting. It looks like they put a sticker over the phone that says live TV. Whatever. Stupid Frank. <sighs> <sighs> I'm sorry, it's been a week. Can we meet? Hello? Listen, I know. Listen, the only issue I personally would have with dating a trans person is that, and I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Where's the beef? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys know the old Wendy's commercial. Where's the beef? You know what I mean? I'm just saying, bro. I would. I, I mean, listen. I, I. 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 think it would be great to try out a custom-made cooter. You know what I mean? The do a doctor-made cooter. Like that's incredible. I mean, I listen. I get it. That's crazy. Tailor-made, especially. Check this out. Imagine you were dating a, a trans girl, and they were like, "I'm getting the surgery, and we're gonna like we're gonna mold it specifically for your pleasure." Incredible. That's like some RoboCop shit. That's fucking awesome. But you know, I'm not. I, I, I. Who's never thought about it? You know what I mean. Who's ever thought about sucking a penis? And I don't think that I would be super into. Listen, I'm not really into guys that much. Sometimes I, I think about femboys, but I don't. I don't think I could do it. You know. <laughs> you know what I mean. So. Hey. Hi, Patrick. I got Patrick. your text. I know. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. 
But it's been a week. I know. I miss you too. But it's just not right. She didn't say that she missed you, bro. I... Why, Patrick? Why is it not right? Because I'm not into guys. I know, Patrick. I don't want someone that's into guys. You're into girls, and I'm a girl now. You're the best girlfriend I've ever had. Like, it seems like you get me. I do, Patrick. Seriously. It seems like you get me. You really enjoy Sunday sports. I don't even like sports. Sports are stupid. We're supposed to do Super Bowl Sunday. We're supposed to go to my like grandma, my my wife's grandma's house. No. <clears throat> I, sports are gay. Only because it's a bunch of men touching each other, bro. And like, I can just look at the internet if I want to see that. You know what I mean? Seriously, did you get the gift basket I sent you? Yes, I, I just can't gift believe basket. it. You said you wanted kids. I know, I do. We could get a surrogate. I went to a donut bank before I did the change last year. Last year? Wait, what? how does that work? She went to a do donor bank? So like, what are you guys gonna do? Did you fucking dump each other's sperm in some girl's pussy and be like, well, just we'll, we'll hope for the best. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't mix the sperm together. I thought you did this when you were young. No, silly. I didn't have the money then. I was born a guy and still a guy up until last year. Wow. First of all, you... Sh <laughs> okay. This one, I'll just chalk up to ignorance and not understanding at all. Um, tr Like, just the tr just how being trans works. Because, it, like, oh, a year ago. Yeah. It takes, like, a couple of... Like, multiple years to go through, like, this... Like, to go through... Uh, like therapy and then like slow hormone treatment therapy and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Also, this woman is surprisingly passable for one year. Um, incredible. Interestingly enough, that was a criticism on Caitlyn Jenner because she had a lot of money and didn't have to deal with a lot of the other issues that other trans people do, like lack of ability to afford particular tra transitions. Well, eight months ago. Eight months ago? Meaning five months before we met? There's no way she was passable five months before she met. The doctors were like, you know what? We're going to do everything in one shot. Top surgery. Not surgery. Top surgery. Bottom surgery. Uh, facial feminization surgery. We're <laughs> like, what? How did she? Bro, I'm I'm like, how did you afford $85,000 worth of treatments in three months? That's my fucking question. Hormones. How did you? How did this happen? Like, what the fuck? Holy, where'd she go to get this done? Brazil or something? Ah, it's a random country. Well, I, somewhere, that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, where, where did you go? Holy fuck. You were still a guy? Kinda. But Patrick, seriously, what's the big deal? You can't even tell. I don't know anymore. I guess it's just the deceitfulness of it all. I grew up thinking one way and it's something else. I, I don't know. Very Can we meet up for coffee? I got you something special. Ooh. Bro, I, 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 if the twist at the end is she still has a fucking hog cock, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I really just don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go fucking ballistic. Like, I didn't realize that was there. Like, it's going to be insane. Well, <laughs> you're looking energetic. Are you hitting on him? Feeling better after your breakup? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling better. Where are you off to? Uh, to the mall. What's going on? I'm going to meet Alexander for coffee. Patrick, the same Alexander you just broke up with? Yeah, but... Who's this, this, who's this guy? Is this his dad or just like a random stranger that's kind of like the next door neighbor in the Tim, in, in, in the Tim Allen show? I forget his name. Like the guy across the fence that you never see. Is, is he just some guy that's there for existential conversation? Whatever. It's friends to talk. Okay. Well, no big deal. You're both young. Just uh, keep your options open. Why'd you guys break up anyway? Uh, I don't want to talk about it right now. Come on, Patrick. I always give you good advice. Yeah. So? Come on. Bro, don't she do it. She told me she was a dude. A guy. She was born a guy. Born a what? I, why would you say that? Like, because like, listen, this guy's old. Chances are he's transphobic as fuck, just like Samir Bavini, <laughs> according to this video with the horrible writing. So now this guy's gonna like hate her all the time. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's it's. It, it, you know what I'm saying? So unless you're ready to be like, she's trans and I love her, you shouldn't be going around doing that. A guy. She was born a guy. Oh my, no. <laughs> You're telling me that 
Alexandra is. I know the twist. I figured out the twist. I think I know the twist. Okay. Listen, I think I know the twist. He's going to date Alexandra at the end of this. That's the twist of this video. That's my, that's my assumption. A guy. Well, not anymore. What do you mean not anymore? You just can't change your gender willy nilly. We're not built like Mr. Potatoes. Come on. People do that uh, these uh, days. Some people are. <laughs> Jesus, I knew there was something about her. Something off about that girl or him, whatever. Dad, don't talk about oh, her it like dad? that. Oh, it is a dad. Oh my God, I hope that my prediction is true. <laughs> huge hands, huge feet. Hell, her shoes are bigger than both of ours. Oh Man, how did I miss that? Seriously, it's not a big deal. What the fuck? Come on. How did? Hey, all these things that I specifically remember identifying. How did I miss that? Clearly, you didn't in your fucking brain because you it was screaming into your ear. Patrick, what are you talking about? This is a huge deal. Dad, come on. She's transgender or he's transgender, but, but now a girl. And son, come on, be honest with me. How far have you gone with this girl, guy, whatever? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's just, uh, you and I cool off here, okay? It's no big deal, it's no big thing. You had a little adventure, you made a mistake, but I know for a fact that you are into women. You're into the ladies. I know I do, and she's a girl. How do you know that? Patrick, come on, sit down here. Please, sit down. Come on, sit down. Let's talk, we gotta talk, come on. What is it, Dad? Okay. Let's say that you have an incredible hunger for an apple. An okay. apple, okay? You're just dreaming about this apple, okay? All right? Now, I and then you bite into that apple, and it's got a worm in it. <laughs> you get it? Whoa. You know what I'm saying, dude? It's got a fucking penis. That's the joke. You know what I mean? It's funny. I don't have an apple, but I got a banana. I got a banana, so I fold it up, I wrap it up, I paint it red, and now I give it to you. You eat it, you enjoy it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I mean, like let's 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 actually follow this analogy. Let's say I wanted an apple, and somebody took a banana, unpeeled it, and then mushed it into the shape of an apple, and then like put some kind of red food color on it. And I've been into it. And I was like, oh, this is better because bananas taste better. I'd be like, whatever, bro. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, bro. It still tastes good. It's a fucking fruit. Who cares? You know what I mean? Like, who gives a shit? Good. At first, it might taste weird because you ever drink water and you think it's a nice, delicious, crisp Sprite Zero. Uh, only available in all your convenience stores. Get one today for one ninety nine. I don't know what that was. By the way, Sprite, I'm free for advertisement. You ever go to drink a piece of <laughs> You ever go to drink any water and you take it to, and you think it's Sprite? Well, you go to drink a Sprite and you think it's Sprite and then you drink it and it's water. It's like, Ugh! and you get really disgusted. But then you're like, oh, water's not so bad. That's, you know what I mean? It takes a second to adjust. Not a big deal. You know? But it's not an apple. Okay? You still want the apple. You got a hunger for an apple. Alexandra is not an apple. It's not the same thing. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I've been watching you since you're a little diapers come on you i don't know why this dad's giving me some vibes i know you're not i know you're not in the guys i've been watching you since you're in diapers we're touching you in the diaper you get my you get where we're going here the dad's the dad's a little weird to me you're a little cre creeping me out bro you're creeping the fuck out of me you i've always been after the girls always even sometimes you're a little bit pervy and aggressive even with chasing after the girls but okay what the fuck why is there so many things talking about like being pervy and aggressive i mean he looks like it sorry bro you do look a little weird but like there was also a mention from the girl that was like yeah you fucking i was drunk and you were like aggressive i'm very conf what's happening here what is what's ha what are we building up to here but always it's always been about the girls you're a ladies man alexander is not with that face No. Girl. Dad, come on. That's not even PC to say. With PC, come on, this is a private conversation. I, I, I know what it feels like to be in love and to, to be attached to someone. Okay. Okay, I know what that, I get that. Okay, but you can't build a relationship on something that started off as a lie. And this is a lie. It's only been three months and she told me. Yeah, three months, well he or she should have told you before you had don't you think? You're censoring sex? What the fuck? 
Okay, let me ask you this another way. All right, let's hear it. Okay. If you had known in advance that very first night before you had if you'd known in advance that he was born a guy, would you have gone ahead? Now that now that is the most interesting, most philosophical question is there there is, huh? You know? Because if you're with somebody for months and you realize you really do love them, and then you find out that they used to be a guy, and you're, you know what I mean? Like, hey, love is blind. Am I right? <clears throat> I guess, you know. But, you know, we are where we are now, bro. Sometimes people do shitty things, and this is where we are. Probably not. Okay, well, there you go. Okay, so it's back to the three months. Same thing. You know, imagine you, 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 you know, you have a kid. You know, there's this crazy story where. This family, this uh, this this is mother, uh, mother and father, mother and father, they tried to have a baby, couldn't have one. They went to a fertility clinic. <clears throat> they used the uh, the father's sperm to inject into the woman, have a baby. Like eighteen years later, find out wasn't the father's cum; it was somebody else's cum from the fertility clinic. <laughs> uh, but that dad raised that kid for eighteen years. Do you think he's gonna leave now? Probably not. You know, it's one of the realities of life, bro. Was it really? I don't think. No, it wasn't the doctor. Somebody said it was the doctors. I don't believe it till I see it, bro. Three months. Because how does that work out? What is it like the Peter Griffin Family Guy episode where like they they, they drop the cum on the floor? Like I guess I got to use my own. You know what I'm saying? Months is nothing. You know, you'll find another girl, a real girl, and you'll be fine. And well, you just can't build something that's started off on as a lie. Listen, Peter. Was his name Peter? Just be happy that you that this girl wants to date you, even though you live at home with your creepy fucking dad. You know what I mean? Because that's it's just weird, Patrick. Okay. You can't do that. I see, Dad. <laughs> Did you see that thing? Uh, it's on the YouTube. It's called the uh, Crazy Hot Matrix. Why are they jerking off the Crazy Hot Matrix video? Why is this such like a fucking jerk off fest for this guy? Yeah, I saw it. dumb Frank sent it to me. Oh, yeah, dumb Frank. Well, he might have had a point. <laughs> okay, you don't see the humor in it. Well, son, let's face it. You're not into guys. Don't try to trick your mind into thinking. Okay, this is like we're really going on with this, like driving home this point. It's like, just go to the but next part. Are, because you're not. Don't get me wrong. Let me say this. If you are into guys, it's okay. Wait, what the fuck? How how is this happening? How is this dad like super transphobic? And then he's like, but also if it's true, it's fine. Like, what the fuck? I'm so confused. Well, I don't have a problem with that, but you're not. And Alexandra, you love her. You want her to be happy. So she deserves to be with somebody that's going into this wholeheartedly, not reluctantly like you. And she's hot. She'll find somebody, you know? Oh, bro, okay, I'm dad, telling you the dad's that's. It's going to be the dad. It's going to fuck out. Dad's pulling a fucking hoodwinking him. He's hoodwinking him. Support this. You're my son. The dad is like, oh, bro, dude, I swear Ooh. to God, I called it. I'm telling you, they're going to fuck. The dad is going to fuck Alexandra. And you know what? He's playing this game. He's like, oh, she's trans. I want to get in that fucking robotic pussy. That fucking custom made Taylor Cooter, bro. I want to get in that shit. I'm going to tell my son not to date her. And I'm going to get the fuck. I'm going to go deep in that shit, bro. That, this dad is an asshole. Holy shit. Holy fuck, bro. And I love you no matter what. Okay? No matter what you decide. I, call, I know I called make, it. I know I called it. But this is your life. And I want you to go into it 100%. And once you get there, yes, I'll back you all the way. What do you mean by that? Back him all the way. Thank you, dad. <laughs> All right, you guys are a little right. too old to be hugging, but okay. <laughs> Go get him, son. Patrick decided to continue dating Alexandra. Okay. But a few months later, after watching a documentary on Netflix, he decided to become vegetarian. What? This annoyed Alexandra, what? and she decided to break up with Patrick what? turning vegetarian. How was I ever supposed to predict this? Where did my webcam go? How was I supposed to predict this? How was I supposed to predict this? This isn't fair, Samir. God damn it. Patrick was confused in life and went on a spiritual journey to Nepal, where he met Edward, another guy what? also traveling. 
Patrick ended up really connecting with Edward and decided to date him. Oh, what is he, a trans man this time? A few months later into dating Edward, Edward reveals to Patrick that he was born a girl. Patrick and Edward got married and gave birth to twins, one boy and one girl. Hey, I truly hope you what enjoyed- What the fuck was that, Samir? <sighs> Bro, I still think that the end of the story would have been so much better if the dad got in on that fucking pussy. You know, there's so many twins. How am I supposed to estimate that? How do I guess that? Oh yeah, you give a fuck. At the end of this video, he goes off to fucking Nepal and decides to, to, to fucking date a trans man. What? What? The, what? Oh my god, bro, you're out of control. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm flabbergasted.